Is it possible to power a common light bulb that uses AC voltage using a common battery that instead supplies DC voltage? In our previous video about the working principle of inverters, we explained the difference between the square and the sine wave. Now, we will show how to build a simple version of an inverter, creating a circuit and connecting it to a transformer to obtain electric current with square waveform in output from a continuous current in input. To build our inverter, we will need one proto matrix board, a 12 volt 230 volt transformer, two heat sink for power transistors, one 14 pin socket, one monostable multi vibrator, two transistor mounting kits, one red LED diode, two screw terminals, one resistive trimmer one polyester capacity, one quarter watt resistance in carbon, two one watts resistance in carbon, a lamp holder cable with bulb, a 12 volts battery. Well, let's start by cutting our board to create the base of the circuit. The cut section is about 10 cm long and has a width of 5 cm. Now we mount the transistor with screws and isolating brushing on the heat sink. Do not forget to put the heat conducting isolation. We place the two heat sinks with the transistor on the board in this way. We take the two 1 watts resistor and we bend them using a pair of pliers. In this way we can insert them into the board at this point. We follow the same procedure for all other quarter watt resistance. Now, let's proceed to insert the remaining components into the board in this way. We place the monostable multi vibrator on the top of the 14 pin socket. And we can start to weld all the components on the copper side of the board. Now that all the components are welded on the board, let's create the circuital connections following this scheme.
These welds are useful to give electrical continuity to the circuit, connecting components and electrical conductors one to each other. After creating every single electrical connection, we can fix our circuit on a wooden base, like this one. We then fix the transformer on the wooden base near the circuit. Now we can connect our circuit to the transformer. We insert the power cables that will be connected on the battery in this way. We connect the transformer output to a terminal board, where we will then place the load represented by the light bulb. Next step, we fix a clamp on the wooden base. In which we will insert the cables that we are going to weld on the output of the transformer. In this way. Now, we connect the lamp holder cable to the terminal. And we insert the bulb. Our inverter is ready to be tested. By connecting our circuit to the battery, the light turns on. All this means that the continuous current of the battery flowing inside the circuit and through the transformer is converted into alternating current. The alternating current in output illuminates our light bulb. Finally, if you found this video useful, let us know by leaving a comment and subscribing to our YouTube channel to stay tuned on the release of new videos. Thanks for watching.